Hi friends! Today we're going to be reading about naughty pets and a great story, Bad Dog. I know you've been busy reading this summer, and I'm so proud of you for doing that. My name is Miss Gresham, and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Mount Gallant, and I know your teachers have been telling you to read every day, just like I told my boys and girls. And today, we have a special story called Bad Dog. It's written by Mike Bolt. What do you notice on the front cover right away? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Why is there a cat on the front cover of a story called Bad Dog? Let's find out together. Hmm, I see a birthday list and only one thing on the list. This little girl is wishing for one and only one thing, a dog. <gasps> Will she get it? There's her present. <gasps> Look what I got for my birthday. A pet dog. Is that a dog? No. My dog has black and white fur, pointy ears, and a cute little nose. Her name is Rocky, and she is a bad dog. Rocky doesn't listen like good dogs. Here, Rocky. Come on. Aw, come on. You can do it. Rocky, come here, good. See, Rocky is a bad dog. Good dogs like to go for walks, but not Rocky. Look at that leash, guys. Rocky thinks it's a chew toy. <gasps> and Rocky really doesn't like other dogs. Look at that tail. Rocky looks so afraid. She is great at climbing, though. Bad dog, Rocky, come down. Rocky doesn't listen. She is a bad dog. I am teaching Rocky some tricks that good dogs do. Sit, Rocky. Stay. Rocky, fetch. Rocky, roll over. Shake a paw. Rocky is not a good dog. But Rocky isn't all bad. Rocky doesn't bark when the mail is delivered. Rocky likes to sleep in the sun and sleep on Dad's chair and sleep on Mom's clothes. Rocky really likes to sleep. I thought Rocky liked to play in the water. What do you think that cat's after? She's reaching in her paw. You think she's after the fishy? I do too. She is not a fan of bath time. Come down, Rocky. See, Rocky still doesn't listen. She is a bad dog. With black and white fur, pointy ears, and a cute little nose. Aww.
You know what? I think Rocky would make a pretty great cat. Look at that kitty's face. I think that's her. That's what I've been trying to tell you, face. Well, most of the time. Bye, Rocky. Friends, we saw the word bad a lot in that story, didn't we? Rocky wasn't bad. Rocky was just a cat. But now we're going to do a little word play with the word bad. So I've got my magnetic letters here, and you're going to help me. This is the same word you saw in the story. Bad. B. Bad. Bad. Now let's break apart that word bad. Let's break off the front. And let's say it together. Are you ready to break it? Get your hands ready. B. Bad. Bad. One more time. B. Bad. Bad. Let's push it back together. Bad. You guys are great readers. I bet that's not the only word you can read. What if we took off that beginning again? B. And kept the ad. Could we make some more words? Hmm. What if I put an M on the beginning? Now we've got m, ad, mad. That's right. Let's break it apart. Ready? M, ad, mad. Good job. One more time together. Mad. Take off your m. Mm. How about the sound at the beginning? We need our letter H for that. We've got Add, had. Can you break it? Get ready. Add, had. Put it back together. Had. This is a tricky one. Hmm. I think this is how the little girl was feeling in the story a lot when she thought her cat was a dog. Add. That's right, sad, sad. Let's break it. S add, sad. One more time. S add, sad. And all together, sad. Good job, we've got one more. I bet you've seen this word a lot. Hmm. You said it before we even did it together. Great job. You're right. You've seen this word a lot. Dad. Dad. Let's break apart. Ready? D. Add. Dad. D. Add. Dad. Check it back together. Dad. You've read all of your ad words. And you can find words like this in any book that you read. Just like the one we read today, bad dog. So keep reading and keep looking for your words. Have fun. See you next time.